Hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. Hmm. So today's question is this. And before starting of the video, if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and like this video because we are starting with awesome content for you guys around DSA tech. And I recently uploaded a video on my projects as well. I revealed my project there. So you can check it out that video as well. Link will be in the description. And then let's get started with the video. So what does the problem say? Design a food rating system. It's actually a real life problem. And it's an interesting problem as well. The problem is not at all medium. It's again easy. Just that the problem length is bigger. Some classes is there bigger. Right. So it may be overwhelming at first glance. But it is not. Trust me that it's not at all. So just bear with me for some time. And when I will explain the approach. Right. I think you will also be able to relate to. I, I, we also thought I had some same thing. But not able to implement something like that. So design a food rating system that can do the following. Modify the rating of the food item list in the system. Okay. So we have to implement a modify function. Okay. And then other thing we have to do is return the highest rated food item for a for type of a cuisine in the system. Okay. So basically what is happening is we have some food item. Let's say I am talking about some Indian item. Also. The cuisine is Indian. Pao bhaji is there. I'm from North India, so I just named that only Pavaji is there, Alu Paratha is there, right? Alu Paratha is there. So, too many cuisines are there. This is Indian, let's say Italian, you have what? Pasta, pizza, pizza, and pasta, right? So, this, these are the cuisines, means a, a cuisine can have multiple foods. Food one, food two. Right. And every food has a rating. Every food has a rating. This they're trying to mention in the question. Okay. Then what they're initially given with? Initially, they're given with three things. They're given with the string of food. Basically, okay, how many, which foods are available in our system? And which, and the food I represent which cuisine? Is it Indian, Italian, American, British, whatever? Okay, and then the corresponding rating of the food item. That's already mentioned that every food item is unique, so there is no repetition of that as well. And they already specify food I is the name of ayat food, cuisine I is a type of the cuisine of the ayat food, and rating I is the initial rating of the ayat. Okay, what we have to do? We have to change the rating of the food from you. They will give a food, and you have to change this to a new rating. Like initially it was a previous rating and you have to change it, the new rating. Cool. And then what you have to do? And other function you have to implement the highest. Rate. This is important. The key to implement that for a particular cuisine, you have to return me the name of the food. Food with highest rating. With highest rating. Okay. And in more, the question becomes more interesting. Then they say, if there is tie, there could be tie as well. Means ratings array is not distinct. That it could be like ratings could be like this. Okay, so ratings and highest rating, and then give me the food which comes lexographically first. Comes lexographically first. I hope so. we, everybody knows what is lexographical. Nothing. It is a fancy name of coming in dictionary first. Okay. So let's say you have A, B, C, and you have, let's say, B, C, A. So this will come later. This will come first. This is first. This is second. Because A is comes before then B. So it will come first. It's like same like dictionary. So I hope you understood the problem statement. What you have to build. You have to write two functions. The change rating function and the highest rating function you're given with initial arrays you have to implement this class so this is also interesting way of implementing this class based problem as well because these are very important sometimes they mostly they come in interviews these kind of problems only right so you have to tackle these kind of questions as well so okay so what does initial thought process come to your mind when you saw saw this problem see whenever you do have to do some rating thing and some changing thing like right? always think of these kind of question maps maps always helps okay 
Now, what map you require? That's the main question. That which map is required, and how to make a map, and how to make a mapping. What we need to do? We need a highest rating. Firstly, right. That means I need a sorted order. I need a sorted order. But I don't need the rating also. So I need I need the food also. So sort of I need to make a set of rating, comma food. That much I know. Why I thought about this? Because I I know I need to return something in sorted order. So I need a set, right? Because here I am dealing with maps, and I need to store something. Then I have to delete also some things. So the ideal way is to go with set. You can go with map as well, but set is more preferable here. It will be easier to implement. Okay. So rating comma food. Why rating comma food? Because you don't need to return the highest rating. You have to return the highest rated food you have to return so you need to know the food as well so you cannot keep a vector of rating and food because we'll see we have to delete and insert items as well so that which are not in o of 1 because you have to implement in at max login every function both the function okay this should come to your mind okay this is fine this is fine the what are the maps you should create try to think about that so i need for a particular cuisine I should keep track of all the food items. So what should I do? This should be a map of a string to what? You can keep a vector of string as well. The keep of uh, tracking of the all the food item. But 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 we need to maintain their ratings as well. So we can keep vector of int comma string. But I already mentioned we need in a sorted order. So we'll maintain the value as set of pair of int of string means the rating comma food item okay so each cuisine it's like a map of this is a map of string comma this thing. this is for cuisine every cuisine will maintain this i hope you understood why i made this it's very quite intuitive that for a particular cuisine i need to keep track of all the food item why all the food items why not only the highest food? No, because the ratings are keep changing, right? That's important. Okay. What about okay? When I am getting a change rating thing, okay. What I will require? I will be given with food. I will be given with rating. Now, what is the problem? I need to change this array. Let's say I name this array as cuisine. You are understanding, right? When I'm here, I don't need to just change the rating of the food only. That's only not the case. The one more case I need to do is I need to change this cuisine array as well to solve this change rating function, right? Because when next time someone asks me from this that how what is the highest, well, see how what what how will you tell the highest also? Don't worry about that. But uh, let's see. Uh, then I need to change the rating. That means I know to know from food to cuisine. So I need an another map which will tell me from a given food, tell me the cuisine. Okay. So it's a simple map of string, comma, string. Right. So now we have two maps. Okay. String of string, food to cuisine. Food to cuisine. Right. Okay, so we'll find the cuisine from here. So we find the cuisine from using this FC food to cuisine food find. And do we do some manipulation? And now what we also require, we also require the rating also. We require the rating as well of the food. So let's keep one other map for rating as well. String comma in. See all these vectors. <clears throat> All these vectors which are available in the question, right? This will be lost. You have to store them somewhere. So that's why we are creating a map or vector, whatever you want to create. You have to do that. Okay, that's fine. So you have created three maps and you are doing something, something here. So you find that the equation. Now, how to delete it? It's very simple, right? 
you know everything that you know the entire key so what you gonna do you gonna go your, in your cuisine area cuisine area and you find this cuisine and you just erase it out the pair erase out the pair of what the rating less r of sorry r of food given food comma previous this was a previous rating i hope you are understanding okay now we will change the current rating so it's pretty simple what do you want to do r of food we'll just update with new rating and we gonna insert bracket cuisine <laughs> see this is our map <laughs> this is the cuisine we find this is small in small dot insert again you do the same thing because you already updated it so this is fine okay cool this is fine so basically somehow we did the at least the change rating thing we updated our map as well how will from this map we find the lexographically uh, highest rating thing acha one thing you tell me the problem in our approach is what see what we want we want the highest rating if that was the case and if there no ties then it was very simple right just written the r begin of mp of given cuisine right from the r begin i just written the food but problem is there are ties and i cannot write anything i have to write the lexographic and thing but the problem is problem in our approach is when i will i have stored the items like this rating let's say one let's say a a food item let's say two for a particular cuisine i am saying two b and particular item two c and it is 3d and it is let's say 3e now what you want to return you want to return this in a certain cuisine for a particular cuisine you have right you have to return this but the problem is when you do a r begin you will always return this you cannot you cannot return smaller value means the lexicographically based on the second key or you have to change the somehow how you are inserting thing right this is our problem that's why we use the map right firstly to make it shorter but now we are in a trouble that we cannot return r begin because we need the highest rating so that's we apply a small trick here see can we return the smallest thing in the lexicographical order yes that we can do because if the set will be sorted firstly on the first key then if they are same then it will sorted on the basis of second key so this this comes first so can we do some begin stuff instead of some r and stuff can we do that and yes we can do that instead of storing in map in in set positive rating just do a negative of the rating and store it now it will be like minus 3 d will come first minus 3 e will come first minus 2 d, d will come uh, sorry c will come first minus 2 d will come first and minus 1 a will come so now you can easily return this d from here right because that will be the smallest thing if it is the highest rating that will be the small so that's a cool idea that we applied here we started with a map idea but then what we require when we are changing the things because what we have to do because whenever you have to do changing the things i always require a map but how, what maps are required i already told you when you write a function oh i need the food to map food to cuisine mapping we need a ratings mapping right so this is how you sort of thought about it and you created the code as well and this is the trick you applied this is an interesting trick you have to apply so that you get the highest rating now let me show you the code it's very simple not very difficult so i created three maps food to cuisine cuisine that cuisine will contain all the food items and the rating string rating map then i i traded in the foods the total thing and then i put for what food is what cuisine right for a particular food what is the cuisine i right so this is a what 
मैनी टू वन मैपिंग ठीक है एंड देन वॉट वी डिड वी जस्ट इंसर्टेड इन टू द क्विजीन द माइनस ऑफ रेटिंग टोल्ड यू वाई विड इन माइनस बिकॉज यू वॉन्ट दी लेग्जोग्राफिकल थिंग इन दी बिगन फ्रॉम बिगन वील डू दैट सो इट विल बी इजियर फॉर अस डायरेक्टली एंड देन इन दी रेटिंग्स ऑफ फूड आई रेटिंग्स ऑफ आई फाइन एंड देन वेन वी आर डूइंग द चेंज रेटिंग फर्स्टली वी पिक आउट दी क्विजीन नेम from the given food then we updated our cuisine map what erasing the previous rating then we updating the current rating and then we inserting back this again food item into the rating remember that we have to do a minus here in the ratings map we are not doing minus but in the inserting thing we are doing minus make sure that you understood this thing and then finally highest rated nothing just begin last second we have to return second why because this is the food item right we have the string st the pair is there this is a rating and this is a string item and this we have to return the food not the rating that's why it on the second so it's a pretty simple problem just you need to have some observation just try to have some patience of reading this big problem see all the edge cases and then you're doing and the trick is there right so i hope you like the solution if you like that please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel we're coming with more more awesome content for you guys also we are i'm starting with a new hoop scores in a soon so if you are interested in about it do let me know in the comments if you want a hoop scores so yeah cool bye then see you in the next video